Welcome, dear friends and believers, on our journey to understand the book of Matthew. Matthew is one of the longest scriptures in the Messianic scriptures, or you probably call it New Testament. Friends, I'm here for you. You can reach me at 702-488-4097. Please leave your name and number at the sound of the tone so that I can get back to you. And I'm not wearing a cowboy hat today, and I want to say that I love cowboy hats, but it has been questioned whether or not I have a full head of hair. I certainly do. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, beyond vanity, I ask you, God Almighty, to forgive us for our sins. I pray to you, Father, in the blessed name and blood, of Yahushua Messiah, the Mashiach Eloheinu, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. And I ask you, Father, to fill us with your wisdom, understanding, revelation of your sacred scriptures. Speak through us, Holy Spirit. Guide us so that we can share the truth and understanding beyond interpretation. No. Your true understanding, Holy Spirit, of these scriptures. Because our Messiah said to us that through the voice of the Holy Spirit, the voice of truth, we would know and understand the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahovah. In modern day language, people refer to our Father as Jehovah. Dear friends, walk with me on this journey and gain your wisdom that will lead you into the gates of heaven. Amen. Dear friends, this is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry. And we are here, this is another thing I've been asked on TV and in radio broadcast. what is the purpose of this ministry? The purpose is to end biblical illiteracy, lies, scams, cons, irrefutable nonsense that has been perpetrated on the public throughout this entire planet. The ancient truth, the ancient wisdom is before us in the word of God, but it has been interpreted so ridiculously that people have no real idea who our Messiah truly is. There are the Trinitarians, for example. They believe that there's a Trinity. No, there is not. God himself and Christ himself said very clearly, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I and the Father are one. Where does that all come from? The Torah. And in the Torah it says and commands that we are to say the Shema. And in the Shema it says very clearly that our Father, the Messiah, the Holy Spirit, are one. When it says the Word became flesh, it is the Father God Almighty came through the womb of Miriam in the ancient term or language and modern day language, Mary the Alma or Virgin, came through her as the doorway into this existence, this reality on earth. God created a way that from his holy, sacred, blessed throne, that part of him, the Holy Spirit that impregnated her, could come through her body, her womb, or doorway into this reality. That is the fact and the truth. So then there are people who argue, how could she have possibly been impregnated back then without sex. This is looking into the intelligence, the divine supernatural intelligence of 
infinite wisdom, infinite Holy Spirit that has the ability to do such things. Can we do it now in modern day times? Yes, we can. A virgin could be taken to a clinic and impregnated without sex. There you go. And that knowledge was given to us by who? God Almighty. And anybody that doesn't want to acknowledge that in any narcissistic, egotistic, prideful person who wants to say, I created this and doesn't realize that it all came from God Almighty. Well, once again, it's the typical reaction of most human beings who want to get all of the credit. You know, recently I had a person contact me to pray for them about becoming a billionaire and becoming the topic that everyone talked about and becoming on top, or in other words, being the most famous person there is. Isn't that sad? Truly sad. But I prayed for that person. I prayed that the holy guidance of the sacred wisdom of the Father God Almighty would come upon come upon that person and change them forever. But that is the way of the world. Extreme pride, narcissism, vanity, extreme. We have to walk away from that. We have to realize the humbleness of the great masters who have lived on earth, male and female. One of the great masters who was on earth, who was a very humble lady, Florence Scoble Shin. And I'm telling you that you and everyone should recognize her, read her writings. She was a self-published author, but brilliant and wise. Why? And she gave glory always to the Father. She gave glory always to the Holy Spirit. She was humble and wise. And there are many others that were great. Good are many, many other great masters who, by the guidance of the sacred Holy Spirit, were led by power and authority, holiness, righteousness, being set apart from wickedness, evil, Vanity, selfishness, pride, narcissism, etc. So now let's look at Matthew 11. This is where the Holy Spirit has spoken to me and said, Teach Matthew 11. Obedience is a key to the favor, blessing. Prosperity in God. Now, when I say prosperity, the first thing you should understand that God wants to prosper you first spiritually. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all will be added unto you. That means spirit so that your mind and soul cannot be corrupted by this world to become a egotistical, narcissistic vain, prideful, sinful being, like Satan. Any of those attributes come from one place, satanic origin. Amen. Opening in verse 1, chapter 11, Matthew, hey, you in the ancient language, Matthew. And it came to be... When Yahushua, your translation will say Jesus. Remember, the name Jesus didn't exist in the time of our Lord and Savior. Let me remind you. In the languages of the time of our Lord and Savior, you need to study etymology. In the time of our Lord and Savior, there was no J in any language that was in Israel, Jerusalem, Rome, Greek, no J. His name would have been Yahushua, not Jesus or Joshua. Yahushua was his true name. 
this translation gives me that true name every time I come upon it. Yahushua ended instructing his 12 top ones. Now, this is a better translation because disciples was not a word that they would have used in the Israel community. They would have been rabbinical students, and they called our Savior Rabbi. There are even King James translations, if you go back into the earlier translations, that call him Rabbi. Now, so, his 12 top ones that he set out from there to teach and to proclaim in their cities. What was he proclaiming? Repent, for the kingdom of Yah draws near. And when Yohanan, or actually Yohanan, had heard in the prison of the works of Messiah, he set two of his top ones, he sent out his top ones, and said to him, Are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? Why? Because Yohanan was the son of Zechariah, a priest of the Levitical order, or Aaronic order of priests. He was a direct bloodline back to Aaron, the brother of Moshe. And so he's looking to verify that this is the true Messiah that God had been talking to him about in the wilderness. He wanted to confirm that. Do you need confirmation? If you need confirmation about who the Messiah actually is, you need to call us at 702-488-4097, and I will lead you to verses. I will answer your questions and give you the kind of literacy of the sacred scriptures that will confirm to you exactly who the Messiah is. And I have done the historical research to prove that he was written in the archives of the Roman military records in those archival writings when they did census, he was listed with the family of Joseph, Joseph in your modern day language, and Miriam or Mary, Joseph the carpenter, and their son, Yahushua. There it is. So, and when Yohanan had heard in the prison of the works of Messiah, he sent two of his top ones and said to him, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And Yeshua answering said to them, Go report to Yohanan, Yokohanan, what you hear and see. In other words, if you can't believe, you know, there's a verse I love that Paul wrote. I walk by faith and not by sight. And that brings me, I'm going to segue real quickly. I was talking with a young lady earlier today. I've been, by the gracious blessing of God, been gaining um, somewhere between 20 plus people per day coming to this ministry. And this lady was honest enough with me to... Uh, relate to me that the only thing she believed in was her faith was her own knowledge was in her own words her faith was her own knowledge so I asked her the question so you're telling me that you only believe in what you can see touch in this reality the great intelligence of the infinite Holy Spirit will never be given to a person like that if they cannot understand that there is an infinite intelligence, a supernatural divine intelligence, the mysteries 
of that other place. And our Messiah made it very clear to us that the difference between this reality and the next is only a thin veil. Many masters, female and male, have walked through that thin veil and stepped into that other reality. Myself, led by one of the great meditative masters I studied with, Sung Q. Park helped me in meditation when I was a very young, young man and helped lead me right into the other side. And that's what should happen for you too, is you should be led by Yeshua Messiah, a master, so that you don't get led into the other side of what? Evil. There's an evil energy that many un- believing masters could lead you into. How can I say that? Well, let's talk real quick about Saul, King Saul. This is history. He asked a witch and or a spiritualist of evil to raise Samuel the prophet from the dead. He was forever cursed for that. God help him. God have mercy on his soul. Now we go back to, and that's right in the Holy Scriptures, and most of you haven't read that or studied that, and I'm sad for you because the Holy Scriptures are so full of history. I've been asked many times, do you believe the Holy Scripture? I absolutely believe it. The bigger part of it is a book of history. And if you haven't done your historical research and looked at the archival diggings that have brought forth the absolute records of what happened in history in mankind, you are blind, deaf, and dumb to the real wisdom that is in front of you. Now, and Yeshua answering said, to them, go report to Yohanan what you hear and see. Blind receive sight, lame walk, lepers are cleansed, deaf hear, dead are raised up, and poor are brought the good news, and blessed is he who does not stumble in me. In other words, I am the master, I have all the knowledge, I'm God on earth, and blessed is he or she who does not stumble in me. Meaning, you believe, you obey, and you follow. And once you have come to that realization, all the blessings of heaven will come upon you. Blessing spiritually, soulfully, mentally, physically, financially, filling you with wisdom, understanding, and divine supernatural knowledge of the mysteries of this existence in this reality and the next. You need to wake up to that. And if you haven't awakened to that, you seriously need to. The problem is, most people are just blind, deaf, and dumb to the great knowledge that our Lord and Savior brought us. God Almighty became a man to bring us the direct knowledge of the sacred kingdom that we are all destined to come to. The problem is, is that people have been mesmerized, hypnotized, brainwashed by the propaganda of the world. Think about that deeply. Media, TV, internet, radio, brainwashing you to a negativity 
so that they can keep you stupid and manipulate you. How do you keep somebody slaves to the system? Keep them stupid. That's why in the early days of this country and England, who were the first to bring slaves to this country, they passed laws that slaves could not be educated, could not be taught to read or write. Why? They felt that by keeping them stupid, they were able to keep them in slave ship without rebellion against slave ship by their ignorance and stupidity. But they, the slaves, prayed to God Almighty and God set them free by filling them with wisdom and understanding through prayer. God found ways to send people to them like myself to be able to teach them so that they were no longer ignorant to the scriptures and the word of God. And some of the greatest masters that have walked the earth came out of that slave ship. One of the great inspirations to me in my early youth when I was going to school was George Washington Carver, an incredible believing man who from, and he gave glory to God Almighty, from God Almighty gave him the ability to research so many different things that led to the prosperity for all of us. You need to study George Washington Carver, one of our great masters. And then, of course, Martin Luther King, a great influence to so many millions of people, not only in this country, but overseas as well. All led by our Lord God Almighty and Sacred Savior who brought to mankind the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. We're going to sign off now. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, there are so many people contact me and they need healing. They need healing of their spirits, soul, and minds. That Satan is trying to corrupt through media, radio, music. Satan, this evil power, is trying to destroy mankind through his wickedness, lies, deceptions, scams, and cons. Oh my God. My Yah, my Holy, Yah who saves. El Hashidai, our Father who is more than enough, send your infinite power and mercy to us. Fill us with your divine supernatural knowledge. Let us receive it. Wash us in the sacred blood sacrifice of the cross so that we can receive and become one with you. For in Yohanan 6.56 it says very clearly, He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood is in me and I am in him. Sacred God Almighty, send us your sacred power and authority so that we can overcome that wickedness that is out there resisting in your power and authority rebuking in your power and authority and binding in your power and authority all wickedness all evil from our lives our families and our country and the countries of your earth Father God Almighty, let repentance and revival move like it's never moved before across the face of your green earth, my God. We pray this in the blood and name 
of Yahushua Messiah, the Mashiach Eloheinu, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Amen. Till we meet again, friends, happy trails to you. Be blessed, be safe, be protected in the blessed name of Messiah, Yahushua, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Amen.